All right, I'm going to show you how Joshua chapter 7, verse number 20, is a really good proof text to use to prove that the God of Islam, Allah, is not Jehovah of the Bible. It's a really good uh, proof to show that Allah is a false god, basically. Allah, because, you know, liberals and liberal professing Christians like to say that, you know, Allah and Jesus Christ, Jehovah, are the same God. Well, this is simply not true. It is... Um, Allah, if you what it really comes down to, it, Allah is a pagan Arabian moon idol that was simply repackaged. Because what Muhammad did, he simply just repackaged Arabian pagan religion. Uh, he got rid of the other Arabian gods because the Arabian pagans already worshipped Allah. They already worshipped this deity known as Allah. So Muhammad, he simply got rid of the other Arabian gods and kept one, Allah. And then, of course, the Arabians were so willing to accept Islam because the, the god Allah was not was not foreign to them. They already worshipped Allah. So. All they had to do was simply just get rid of the other gods, Arabian gods they had, and just kept keep one, Allah, basically. Uh, because Allah is just simply a Arabian moon idol, pretty much. He's a moon god, a, an Arabian moon god, is all he is. But Joshua chapter 7, verse number 20, is a good proof text against Islam, proving that Allah and Jehovah are not the same god. And I'll explain why. Joshua chapter 7, verse number 20. Turn there in your King James Bible. It says, And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus, and thus, and thus uh, have I done. So, what do you have here? He's sinning against the God of Israel, the Lord God of Israel, Jehovah God, you can call him. Because, uh, you know, Yahweh is not the name of God. The name Jehovah appears four times in the Bible. I think it's uh, uh, Exodus 6.3, uh, Isaiah 12, 2, uh, Isaiah, let me just search it up. Yeah, it's Isaiah 12, 2, Exodus 6, 3, uh, let me just search it up. Jehovah. I can't remember the exact. Yeah, Exodus 6, 3, Isaiah 12, 2, Isaiah 24, 26, 4, and Psalms 83, 18. The name Jehovah appears in the Word of God. Yahweh is not the name of God uh, in the Old Testament. But you have here an example of, of him sinning against the Lord. Well, the unholy Quran says that you can't sin against God. And just go there. Uh, Quran chapter 4, num verse number 11. And whosoever commits sin only earns it against himself, and Allah is ever knowing and wise. So in Islam, they don't believe you can sin against Allah. You don't, when you're sinning, you're only just doing it to yourself, which is not what the Word of God teaches. And some further proof on that is how the protological son, let me just get out of full screen, the protological son, was able he sinned against heaven you can see that in luke 15 21 joseph was worried about his quote sin against god you can see that in genesis 39 verse 9 and david confesses his sin with bathsheba and says it was a quote sin against god that is in psalms 51 verse number four so you can sin against god but in islam you can't so obviously that proves among many other methods that allah is a false god and that Allah is not Jehovah of the Bible. So don't be deceived by Islam. It is a pagan cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.